welcome to another Lovercast day, or Lovercast. 21st of December, Sunday, very dreary. We have 500 foot ceilings, a little bit of mist, and a little lens splatter. Drizzle occasional. We are kicking off the day with a little shiny McShine in an attempt to bring some light into our otherwise Lovercast day. It's not going to shine too much for you now. A little bit of wing vape. And we'll lose focus because the camera can't tell the difference between clouds and aircraft. Oh, well, it looks like Southwestern is new attire is popping forth. Out of Lovercast. Keeping it real on a day that a bird, two birds follow them. Look at that. Look at that. Hey, guy. I'm sorry. You're here to watch airplanes, not birds, right? Well, here's Southwester's new livery and some lower cast and fog. Fuck me, this thing's not working. Oh, mad dogs, you always create such the vapor moments. Grabbing this mad dog, mad dog 90. Mad Dog 90. Let's get our enunciation correct before we begin the tedious task of narration. Mad Dog 90. Mad Dog 90. Okay, I think that we're good. Mad Dog 90. Providing us with some vapor on an otherwise vaporous day. Didn't really have anything to follow up the otherwise. Sometimes I'll say otherwise without thinking about what I will say next, and I expect myself to come up with something, but I don't. I'm so sorry. Any second now, we expect our first 767 Parade member, Delta 83 out of Paris. And there he is. Bursting out to 500 foot overcast. Somewhat out of focus. Camera can't tell the difference sometimes. There we go, that looks sharp. Oh, look at that, it looks like a ghost. Oh my! Oh my! Well, Merry Christmas to you too, Mr. Widget carrying frogs. Let's focus on you. It's going to be a focused challenge day here. We are already expecting that and anticipating it, planning for it, and planning around it. And there goes our first 767 parade member of the day. Hooray! Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And away with you. Bye bye. Are you giraffe? Alrighty! Delta 2412 753 door check. Passer out of Salt Lake City. Look at that. More ghost vapor. Oh, man alive. Look at you, buddy. You're a producer and therefore have earned a top rank in our feature presentation. You and your long neck. Thank you. We always enjoy fitting you in our box. Do you enjoy my box? I hope so. Who is bursting? Oh, God. Oh, wait a minute! Okay, well, I mean, it's still grody and everything, but look at that. It's in the old Eagle Flight colors. We'll take it. He's even bringing me some vapor from Shiny McShine, or not McShine, not so shine, rather, I'm Junior. It's a seagull flight. He was never a McShine, really. He was always a Junior, though, helping to feed the Shiny McShines of his era. He's now a mere relic, as we never see this paint scheme anymore. It was beautiful. I loved it. And very rarely do we get to see the CRJ200 out of Eagle Flight with the old paint scheme. So, it is a Raritai, although a Reginald. Reginald Raritai. And an outbound 767 parade member with the Dubs. Quiet out here today, very quiet. Just hoping for some more shipping of packages, but I don't see any. Perhaps the south side would be a worthy endeavor. Okay, Mr. Guy. At least there's not that much stink here. Well, now there is. And look, he's producing some wing shimmer. 
and UP. Oh, nice. Good coverage. Oh, it's just a bare Hudson livery, damn it. Standard Hudson, 8 through 19. I was hoping for something a little bit more special. I'm tripodless, I am human tripod. I'm trying to get my elbows rested where I need them to be. Little Dutch Boys coming up next. Stay tuned to see. And Little Dutch Boy has been cleared to land. He must steer clear of all the obstacles that confront him, including birds, bushel, and pole. Shall emerge any moment. The Little Dutch Boy in all of his blue glory here to grace us with small kisses on the forehead and make us feel like the world is a happy place. So come on, Little Dutch Boy. Come on, you Amsterdamian. Tail of 63. What the shit? Ah, oh, crud. I didn't realize he had a Reginald preceding him. Oh, you're nothing but crap. You are so sorry. I hate those two little lights there. Those landing lights. Like a little pig nose. A little piglet. Well, Sal Wester taking a quick turn. He's gonna try to get the hell out of here before the little Dutch boy reaches me here. He's on six mile final. Can I get them both? Now there will come a time when this no longer appeals to me where the new livery over the shoulder is nothing more than standard issue. Right now we are still somewhat impressed by the new livery. As I do yet another over the shoulder. Here comes security guard. Hurry up. Oh god, that's a bad one. And there he goes. So, good. Let's focus on the little Dutch boy. Oh goody, Dutch treats and all of his sweetness. Chocolate, hashish, and blue. Oh goody, goody good. Very nice, I love it when you make wing paper. Oh good, good. Very good. Oh, that's a sweet one. Our first real catch of the day, our first solid catch rather. It's kind of a lazy day, as you can tell. Lots of malaise. Lots of slothishness. The overcast drains one's energy. As we lack the vitamin D. Uh-oh, my phone's ringing. Of course, perfect timing. Hey, honey. What are you doing, Danes? I just called to let you know where I was at the airport. Considering making a move for a brief second, this DC-10 appeared on flight radar as if it was active. Can't tell if it is. I would love to see a DC-10 or an MD-10 for those of you who would give me a dislike for quote-unquote misidentification. Continuing in the tradition of mediocre catch Sunday, nothing but mediocre catches all day long. Frontierio still not showing me his new livery, still have never seen it. As we usher who might be Lance the Bobcat back down to runway 8 left. Not sure if that's Lance or not, but it looks like it from here. What do we have here, Frontierio? Who'd you bring to see me? Is it a whole different animal, or is it the same animal? Oh, it's a fox. Is that a fox? Did I name that? Oh, no, I have not. It's Esteban. Esteban the Red Fox. Esteban? Your name is Esteban. Looks like an Esteban, too, doesn't he? As we usher Esteban and Frontierio, on the quest to discover the lost city of gold, Esteban. Better focus for me, I need to recognize if you're a 738 with the split scimitars. Supposed to be in from San Francisco, I think it looks good. Okay, another mediocre treat for you here, getting scratched up by the winter bushel. It's okay, because he needs a new paint job anyway. Oh, good vapor. The bushel is obscuring the vapor. There we go. Oh, a double. That's a good shot right there. Good job, Blue Locust. Very nice with your splits. Very nice. Okay, well, there's no 
another mediocre catch for you on this mediocre day. Split Simmerkers. Bouncing around a little bit. It's all right. Just Southwestern. Touching down with the weight on the wheels. And thrust reverse, maybe? We're not going to thrust reverse? Just going to throw in your spoilers and your wheel brakes? What the hell? No reverse. Interesting. Interesting maneuver for the Simmerker, but it's okay. Challenging my focus skills, we have another 767 Parade member arriving from Salt Lake City. Relieved to be flight number 1654. Maybe something different. I don't know. I can't recall. Either way, another heavy. Keep just going. Still seeking a climax of this day. Touchdown, there you go, good touch. Pass the giraffe. Thrust reverse, unlike Southwester, and away. And as we try to decide whether or not we should go back north to catch the Virgin, we get to a breath of fresh air with giraffe. What's this little logo? Why fire some? You guys ready? Avoid the wall of doom for me now. Here we go, let's avoid it. Avoid it! Let's go, Giraffe! WOD avoidance as I stand here in Sector 4! Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, pal. Oh, I don't think so. I'm already losing faith. Already losing hope. Every shoulder, okay. Grody side stick. Oh, he's up, but I don't think he's away. I think he's going to clip a wing at best. Oh, maybe not! Oh, he clipped his winglet. That's all. He just clipped a dove. Very good. 753 Giraffe. up, 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 and away on this cold, blustery, foggy, and low overcast Sunday day. Damn it, what was that? A pyre up that I missed? Son of a bitch, I hate it when I miss those things. All right. Well, hopefully we have Virgin on our downwind by now. I haven't verified that. This is where Virgin should go. As I evacuated the south side after a brief stop in the interest of grabbing Euro originating 767 parade members and Virgin, Sir Friends, a lot of the not so mighty and lofty. Very good, very good, very good. Good sized box. And he is going to touch down on runway 8 left once again into Fire Station 32. Cacti bringing in the Hudson livery. Correction on previous 767 parade member. It's a Delta 109 heavy, not 103. But I was partially correct because it's an odd number. This A321 has yet to be painted in shiny not so shine attire. Giving us another dose of the Hudson livery. Nothing special, but it will become more and more rare. So we should treasure it. Treasure it always. Don't chop his nose off, just treasure it. Oh god. Fire Station 32 will take you the rest of the way, friend. Any second now, out of this 800 foot overcast, we'll have a virgin. And there it is, Virgin 103! Gracing the north side with its vapor producing presence. Delicious. Oh, nice vapor. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Got a lot of vapor coming off all these control surfaces, off the flaps, off the wing tips, and of course, some wing shimmer to boot. Well, isn't that nice? Thanks, Verge. Thank you, Virgin. I wonder who we got today. I wonder if it's New Lady. Have I ever met you before? It's a long name. Miss England, I believe. I believe that's Miss England. She's not married, for her name is Miss. Of course, being a virgin, she shouldn't be married. 
you're married and you're a virgin, you're probably married to some jihadist who married you when you were eight years old. Because that's what Islamic fundamentalists tend to do. That and rape goats. They're goat rapers. And marry children. That's Islam for you, baby. I expect breast cancer bird on this arrival, too. But you're a 764 without breast cancer. Well, you're lucky. But we do love the Susan G. Komen pink livery. We certainly do, and the cause that it promotes. Very nice. I don't know why I'm telling you this. You're just a regular 764. But your cheeks are clean, so that makes you feel good. And away we go. Bye! Delta 15 Heavy, here it comes. Are you a breast cancer bird? I think you are, but you don't want to focus. Why is that? Now you like to focus. Okay, Delta 15 Heavy, I'm going to focus on me now. I want to get a close, close up. You're not the best focus. I'll push that button that's supposed to bring it back, but it's not. Damn it! Come on, force for global good. Stay in focus for me. I realize it's hard to differentiate between cloud and aircraft. You're a camera, but you have a focus button for a reason, and it's to get in fucking focus. Jesus Christ, it's a force for global good. Don't dishonor it by not focusing. Go! All right, well, this is a mere prelude to Sir Francois, the not so mighty, so let's hope we don't encounter the same problems with him. Sir Francelot, the not so mighty frog, arriving here on the north side as they often do, bringing the standard issue daily dose, actually twice daily dose of a triple seven two hundred. Just doing some vapor producing, a little wing shimmer, nothing too spectacular here. We're gonna have to change out our batteries on this lackluster Sunday. It's a lackluster Sunday. The overcast just kind of demoralizes you and brings you into this general sense of, not sadness, but just malaise. I like the word malaise. I've already used that word today. I try not to overuse words, but I'm going to use it again. I feel malaise -y. I feel real malaise -y. Having a mighty frog would definitely perk my spirits up, but I get the not so mighty. Damn it. Fine. What are you? You're not in new livery. We know that. Is that Julius the Reindeer? It is. It is Julius the Reindeer. And I realize it may be an antelope or some other kind of creature, but I like to misidentify the animals. It's kind of fun. So Julius the Reindeer, that's one of those we've remembered for a long time because of our pal Julian from LAX. He's not named after Julian, but Julian commented, I believe, that Julius was close to Julian, which helped us to remember Julius the Reindeer. Oh, out of focus and back. All right, Frontierio, into fire station number 32, we stick you. <coughs> Excuse me, I got the cough. <coughs> Hit some a little too hard there. <coughs> we have an Amsterdamian coming on in. <coughs> Wowzers. Wow. Okay, I feel better. I feel better as this 8330. <laughs> God! Uh, <laughs> Goddamn vaporizer just vaporized my lungs. Oh boy. Well, I didn't have much to say there, did I? Nothing but coughing. Where's Lefty? Is he behind you? Well, we are excited. Four holer! Lofty! Shaking things up a bit. I used to bitch about the A340-300. But as long as you spit, swap them out every now and again, I get happy. It's getting blustery and chilly out here, and we're getting out of focus. Why? You were in good focus. Why did you ever depart it? How about I push this button? No? Oh, Sony, focus. You can differentiate between clouds and lefty. I know you can't. Do I have to give you foreground? I'll give you foreground. I'll foreground all over your face. All right. Lufthansa 444 heavy. Bring the 340-300 today. 
Keeping life interesting for me, as Germans do to everyone. Who do we have? Oh, well, out of focus name. God damn it. See, this is the kind of crap that makes me so mad. I'm not even going to try. We'll just watch and we'll keep them in the box and we'll see you later. I got a DC-10 to check on. Thanks, Lefty. Sorry I boxed the focus. It's hard out here now. And between the two air conditioning vents, the Mighty 767 Parade member departeth up against a backdrop of FedEx Mad Dog 10s, or DC-10 as I like to call them, one of which is still showing on flight radar. It's showing now as Flight 2421, which arrived at 4.50 a.m. this morning. Perhaps they're just shifting it around. Perhaps they're having a tug parade. Oh, look, you left it. Wow, Southwestern, damn it! Sliced him right in half. Can't do that to a 7 6 parade member, you just can't. Negroti Reg. And. Up, up, up and away. With very little wing shimmer. Just a little bit. Bleh. Some just hit me in the face. Little Dutch boys pushed back. I timed this in order to try to catch his departure off this angle. KLM 624 to Amsterdam. Ba 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 boom! This one's being fixed! They fixing that one! The other one? They're working the shit out of it! Engine testing the mad dog! Under dimly lit skies, I give you shiny McNot so shine. Taking off with a load of passengers for what we presume to be Dallas Fort Worth. It's pretty much my constant refrain now anytime we see shiny McNot so. Unless it's a cacti variant, in which I have another speech altogether. This shiny McNot so shine will smack the Cinco in an inverted manner. Inadvertent, inadvertent. Let's work on enunciation. Oh, maybe he won't. He's going to hurdle it himself. Climbing to freedom and a long, fruitful life in the overcast. My goodness. Well, Frontierio's here. Frontierio. Would this be Julius? Or would it be Esteban? Esteban in the mysterious cities of gold. I'm banking on Julius. Ah yes, it looks like a Julius takeoff. And it's Julius the reindeer sh being shaken but not stirred. And taken out here at Hartsfield Jackson Maine or Jackson International. Hartsfield Atlanta Airport. Oh, I think I'm going to slam you. See ya. As we are in the final week of Citrus, I suppose we should give one the honor of a courtesy Cinco Slam. This is a black-eyed citrus. And there it is! It's the last we'll probably see a citrus. I don't know if I'll be out here after next weekend. The holiday and everything, I might have obligations. So this could be farewell. You lost your soul when you Got rid of your logo, Jets, so you've been gone and dead to me for some time. Regardless, we sink as land the ALM's gate space, complete with his information. We'll rest in the foreground as he comes rolling across and rotates at an advantageous point. Very good. Very good, little Dutch boy. You know how to jump. All right, we're gonna watch you into this 800-foot overcast. And hope you have a pleasant tomorrow. Where's that overcast at? Maybe you're gonna find it here in a minute. Oh, he's gonna disappear. Little Dutch boy, farewell. And 7673 dubs outbound parade member with all of his first-class passengers who appear to have their shades down will be leaving us here momentarily. Come on, guy. Thought you were in a rush to go. What's the holdup? I don't have my ATC on. Damn it, I only got a couple more minutes left. Let's do it.
Roll them! There we go. Boy, the wall of doom for me. I'm only in 3.5. So I hope all those shades that are down represent seats that are unoccupied. All the down shades represent soulless, humanless, empty chairs. Allowing him Sunday of Malays. Really loving that word today. That will be the word of the day. Look it up if you don't know what it means. Learn a word. Learn a new word every day and then use them to your advantage in conversations. Ah, she totally died. Oh lord. Yeah, yeah. Ride him on home, Mr. Cowboy. Another look at the last of Citrus. From Wall of Doom avoiding Sector 3.5. That website will be of no use to you in a few days. Pay no attention to it. Poor old Citrus. Look at how dirty he is. He's all dirty. It almost looks like his previous paint scheme, the off-white. He is so dirty. Oh, avoid the wall of doom for your own sake. Go out with some dignity. Can you do it? Oh, you can't. You almost, but you can't. You sold out. To the Blue Locust. All right, 767. Inbound parade member, but not really. I think this is Delta 80 out of LAX. We're going to have a double with someone. Who are we going to double with? There! Oh, Scott Teamer! Holy crap! We're going to switch it. We're going to trade responsibility. We let the parade member go in honor of Sky Team and his accomplishments. The Top Gun pilots are captaining the Sky Team 752 Dubs onto the OTP runway number 10. Always a glorious sight. Transfers of responsibility are perilous and can cause issues, but it appears we were successful. Thrust reverse. Good Sky Team. We should be witnessing the emergence of the mighty Eskimo, the one and only Alaska. Oh, Alaska, please remain in focus. Oh, good kick. Excellent. Looking for something good to go out on, we stumble across our old friend Alaska, whose flight number I can't recall, but whose origin is Seattle. Seattle, Tacoma, or SeaTac. It's been a while since we've seen old Alaska. Perhaps one of those flights, the SeaTac or Portland, was discontinued. I believe it was the Portland. Either way, he will be immersing himself in the winter bushel before bathing himself on the runway here at Hartsfield Manor Jackson a few days before Christmas 2014. Bushel number three will be the final bushel. It's the most tedious. It's a real test of your manpower. Alaska does just fine as his 738 does not have the lay on it. Very good, sir. Alaska! Okay, good surprise. It's a nice one. It's a nice one. It's a good way to try to climax. We gotta try to climax. We're not gonna climax. We gotta try. Sidestick thinks he can race my mighty Eskimo. He might win this round. Mighty Eskimo is not deterred. There's a throttle up. Looks like Captain Throttles. Captain Throttle! Roar! Like that wing bounce, guys. Very nice. Grody Blue Locust. Look behind me over the shoulder. Nothing much. And 764 away his fate in the wall of doom because I didn't take adequate measures. You can definitely call this one my fault as this is the day of malaise. Laziness. And what not. Yep, there he goes. Right into the gaping maw of the wall of doom. Okay, pops out behind yellow by the disgust. Not a drop of wing shimmer. Up, up, up. 
we get into the overcast? Can we get into it, please? Can we dig a path through the lovercast, or will you just disappear like the men in Field of Dreams?